who do you expect to, to really rise to the top there? Can, is, can Pidcock be the next real, next oh, real superstar? You're, yeah, I mean, he's getting on for that already, isn't he? Yeah, he's already made an impact. Um, I think there's a lot more to come from him. I think it's going to be challenging for him to think what direction to go in, whether he's going to be a GC rider. You could see him certainly going away with the Yates's in that, that sort of vein, you know, winning races like Liege, Bastogne, Liege, and being up there in those. But the big question is going to be whether he goes for GC, isn't it? Yeah. Something like the Tour de France. But um, I think I'd say he's got time for that. You know, so, wait a couple of years, but get get things under your belt, smaller races. I could see him doing well in um, Tour of the Basque Country, you know, Tour of Lombardy, all these races. I mean, it's it's quite difficult when you can do anything like like he can. He, he's a very very similar rider to, to Matthew Van Der Poel, isn't he? Yeah, you know? in, in lots of ways. I mean, cyclocross yeah. background. Again. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. But just uh, he's got the punchiness. You know, he's got he's quick in a sprint. He can time troll. Um, riders like that now. You know, we got um, Julien. <laughs> he can do anything. <laughs> he could do anything. Um, we were asking about Van Aert last year. Can he win a Grand Tour? That's the modern rider now. They can they can do anything at any time of the year. Jake Stewart, what would your advice be to him? Not, and I'm sure you will say to me, you know, I'm in no position to give him any advice, but having sort of been there yourself, yeah. as you say, you signed 20 years ago today, and Laura will come on to the man's, the, the, the kid's age, I should say, really, um, because it, it, even saying that he was born in, in 1999. Um, is, is Yeah, so he, was he was two when I but, signed for... But what, what, would your, what would your advice be to a young Learn rider? Learn dialect French. French. Learn yeah. dialect French. So I learned French from the Picardy region by... I didn't speak a word of it. I didn't even get entered for French GCSE. Um, and I learned dialect French, you know, like Roadman French, if you like, in London. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it makes it so much easier speaking within that team and that, you know. It's, um, he, he says his French is, is coming on. Uh, Laura, they're, they're already making a name for themselves. How, how do you see it for Pidcock and Stewart this season? What, what can you see them doing in, in terms of how high can they go? Sky's the limit, I suppose. And they've already shown themselves. The thing is, at the moment, there isn't too much pressure on them. They, both results were kind of surprises to an extent. No one quite knew what certainly Pidcock's form was going to be coming into the opening weekend, having spent the winter in cyclocross. I've got to say also the nature with which Stuart finished second. If you haven't seen the sprint, he, get, he finds gaps that aren't there. He squeezes between the barrier on the left-hand side. And he said... Uh, if he had been in the wheels of Ballerini, he probably would have certainly challenged him further. So I think, yeah, those, those two kids certainly show that the future's bright for British cyclists coming through, which, which is great to see as you've got people like Garrett Thomas, Chris Froome coming arguably towards the end of their careers. It's nice to see this new generation stepping up and racing in a very different way to what we certainly saw throughout the you know 2010s with Team Sky and Brad and kind of their dominance. 